Hey folks, Dave from Summer Racing back with you looking at more new products for 2022. Uh, today's guest is Robert from Protronics. And uh, Robert, I know you've got a new 510C power package that we're going to talk about and we appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for having us, Dave. Um, yeah, and as you mentioned, today we are going to be talking about our uh, 510C ignition power package here at, uh, at Protronics. And uh, yeah, this box is a, a pretty nifty little package here. So this will give you the uh, our Protronics 510 uh, digital HP ignition box, along with our matched uh, Flamethrower 3 ignition coil here. So let's go back to the beginning a little bit. Uh, we'll start with the, you know, the individual components here. Are you looking at a capacitive discharge ignition? Uh, let's talk a little bit first about the advantages of that. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, so I have a little mock-up here. So this is kind of... Uh, representative of your, your normal ignition system. So you have your, uh, your key switch wire to power up the coil, and uh, then you have the voltage flowing through, and then you have typically either a uh, points and condenser setup, or you have you know, some kind of electronic ignition system there to trigger it. And that's, and that's fine in most cases, but what the capacitive discharge ignition system does is it has uh, capacitors and transistors built into this little box here. And what that does is it, it kind of forces voltage through the ignition system and it stores voltage inside of the box there. So it lets you charge up the coil a lot quicker. So that way you get uh, better performance, easier startability, can open up your plug gaps. You know, the possibilities are endless there. Yeah, and I know we, we've talked a little bit about uh, earlier, uh, we were talking about multiple sparks and going all the way up through the, the red line. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that advantage. It's it's not multiple sparks to a certain RPM necessarily, lower RPM, it's all the way to red line. That is correct, Dave. Yeah. So with this box, um, you know, versus the competition, a lot of times with them, um, you know, you'll get multiple sparks from idle to about 3000 RPM. With this box here, you get multiple sparks from idle all the way up to red line. And, you know, we have a lot of guys using this for, you know, street cars, circle track, drag racing, you know, pretty much anywhere in between there. And so, uh, so it's, it's a really cool little package there. Yeah. And, and features with this too, uh, kind of part and parcel to going, uh, to the, to, uh, you know, that red line, you have some rev limiters too. You have three, right? Three separate rev limiters on this. That is correct. Um, so yeah, with this one, you have three limits. So you have a, a launch limit. So that way, you know, when you're staging up at the track, you know, you can just almost like a two-step system, you know, you can just floor it and then dump the clutch when you're ready to go. You have a burnout limit for when you're, uh, for when you're heating up the tires there, you know, so that way you can, you can rev it out a little bit further, but not quite, you know, be peg and red line there. And then you have a fatal rev limit. So that way you can just set your max RPM that you want to go up to. And then it'll, it'll cut spark from there. If you try to rev past there. Okay. Uh, adjustability on that. How simple is it? Um, what goes into that? And also you have a, a starting line retard. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. We have a couple things to, uh, to talk about there. Mm -hmm. So we do have the built-in start retard function on this box. And so it's pretty cool with this system. So you don't, you know, you don't really need anything else to do it. You can, you can set it from anywhere from zero to 18 degrees, and you can also set your RPM so that way, once it hits that RPM, it'll come out of that start retard function and it'll just go to your normal uh, normal timing advance there. Um, with this system, you also brought up a good fact with the, um, with the RPM limits too. So on these boxes, I'll kind of put it there so you guys can see it. We have these little dials on there. So that way you don't need to buy any extra RPM chips or anything extra like that. You can just set it with a little Phillips screwdriver on there and you're good to go. Okay. Uh, some other features on, on the box. I know uh, a big one, uh, this, this package is 50 state legal, correct? That is correct. So this is uh, 50 state legal or carb compliant. So if you're in California or any other state that's uh, fairly tight on emissions, you're still good to go with this box. And, um, you know, one of the other features I did want to bring up as well is that you can choose between the power level you want as well for your spark energy. So, you know, if you're just, uh, you know, going, just using it as an everyday kind of car, just kind of cruising along, you know, you can leave it at uh, 145 millijoules of spark energy. So that way, you know, you don't, if you just want to take advantage of like the other features of the box pretty much, but you don't necessarily need that extra, you know, spark energy there, then you can just leave it at 145. Or if you're, you know, high compression, ethanol, you know, you have any of those kind of things going on, turbo supercharger, where it's really putting more strain on the ignition system, then you can bump it up to 172 millijoules of spark energy 
and uh, and then <laughs> yeah, then, then you really get some power going there. Yeah, speaking of power, and then you've got the flamethrower coil to go with it. Uh, let's talk about you know what you get with that aspect of it. Yeah, definitely. So you know, with your normal uh, ignition system there. Um, you know, this is a pretty standard uh, canister coil with the cutaway there. So you can see the windings in there. And this is just going to be a normal, you know, 1.5, 3 ohm coil that you would usually find in most of your typical, you know, ignition systems. Uh, this uh, flamethrower 3 coil here that we have uh, that comes in this 510C ignition power package, it's a very low 0 0.32 ohm coil. So that thing can charge up very quickly. It's so typically about 30 to 70% faster um, than most other coils on the market there. And especially this is critical when you're pairing it up with this box here, because when you have those transistors and capacitors for storing the voltage and really forcing it through the ignition system so that way you could get your, you know, spark off really quickly. Um, you know, when you have that, um, that multiple spark, when you're going all the way up to red line, you want to charge up really, really fast. And so that's why we uh, provide this coil in here with the package. So that way everything's all paired up together and you're all good to go there. So what's the maximum output then on, on this, uh, this kit, uh, um, so, voltage? Yeah. So the, uh, this is a 45,000 uh, volt coil that's paired up with this package here. And so, you know, pretty much short of going to like a, like an e-core coil where like the big square ones, you have to like drill into the firewall to mount those, you know, this is pretty much about like as high as you're going to get, um, with most canister coils. So, you know, we're pretty much trying to package as much as you can in like the least intrusive, uh, least intrusive package there. Yeah. So all the advantages you mentioned, plus, you know, obviously you're getting a more complete burn, more, uh, better combustion, you're gonna get better fuel economy for that as well. So lots of advantages of going this way. And then we haven't even mentioned the fact of, uh, buying both uh, pieces in one kit versus buying them separately. I mean, Definitely. no, no re extra chips or anything like that required, right? Right. Yeah. So everything that you need is right here in the box. Um, you know, a lot of great things about getting them together, you know, everything's paired up. You don't have to worry about, okay, is this coil compatible? Is this box compatible? You know, will my ignition system work with this? You have pretty much everything right here. You get the instructions with it. And, you know, just to, just to touch a little bit more on, on some of the, the features here, you know, this has a lot of great things built into it. Um, this will work with, um, you know, anything from a one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 10, 12 cylinder application, single or odd fire. Um, you know, it has a, a little Molex connector there that you can see where it just snaps into place. You don't have to wire everything in individually. Um, it has uh, capability to work with a current sensing tap, like a, like a Ford OEM tap from the sixties and seventies or any kind of voltage spike tap, like, you know, most of the other aftermarket ones out there that people like to use. And, um, and it also has a, uh, its own onboard diagnostic system here. So we have these, uh, these little, uh, led lights there. They're kind of hard to see a little bit cause they're dark there. But, um, what this does is it's kind of like the old, uh, OBD one systems. So you get the, uh, the long blinks for, uh, for tens and you get the short blinks for ones. And, um, this is just a snippet from our, uh, instruction sheet there. But you get these little uh, these little codes there. So if you have you know low voltage, bad ground, stuff like that, you're not just stuck trying to you know wait on hold and call in to see what's wrong. You can diagnose it right there, you know, in your garage or in the shop, and it uh, it really makes it pretty pretty simple there. And uh, I think the last thing that I want to touch on here is just the, the small form factor of the box. I mean, you know, this is just me compared to like the the coil, or I guess this would probably be a better. Uh, better size comparison there. This is just a traditional canister style coil that you would find on most, uh, most applications there. So this, you know, this allows you to mount it virtually anywhere in the engine bay. Um, so, you know, if you got other stuff going on, you got, you know, different, you know, brake master cylinder, you got, you know, other, other stuff going on there, or it's kind of tight in the engine bay, or if, it, if it's like a swap, you know, you can fit this pretty much anywhere under the hood. So this is a, you get a lot of features for a good price in a small package there.
Yeah, very compact. Um, so you've, I think we mentioned or we talked about and before we kind of got on here um, that you've got some things coming out for 2022 that might work in uh, conjunction or coordination with this kit. Um, give us a little sneak preview of what uh, what you guys are working on. Yeah, definitely. So we got some new uh, we got some new billet distributors that are coming out pretty soon. Uh, we're always working on new uh, new ignition kits to drop inside the factory distributors there. Um, I know those are those are typically our bread and butter. A lot of people love those. And uh, one of the great things is that they're all compatible with this power package. So again, whether you have an HEI, mag trigger, points, electronic ignition, it'll work with this setup here. Awesome. Well, we'll look forward to seeing those uh, come next year. I know right now you can get the 510C uh, from Petronics, a power package at summitracing.com. We're excited to have that. We're excited to see what next year brings. Robert, thanks so much for your time. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. And this, uh, I guess this one last thing that I want to touch on before we, before we uh, head out here is, um, is the, the price that this actually comes in at. So, you know, a lot of times when you're getting a whole box set up, you know, you might be spending three to four hundred dollars on a on a CDI box, and another forty to fifty on like the little RPM chips, and then another sixty bucks on the coil, and it it adds up. Um, you can get this whole package from from Summit Racing, the whole thing with the coil, the wiring harness, instructions, warranty, and the box here for under three hundred bucks. So this comes in at a you know you get a lot of features for a pretty good uh, for for a pretty good price there from Summit. Absolutely. Very attainable, very versatile, uh, lots of features packed into there. Like you mentioned before, small, compact, gives you a lot of mounting options. So checks all the boxes. Again, Robert, thanks so much. Thanks again, Dave. I appreciate it.